Okay, now AQA take a slightly different approach to their hallucination and they actually label this as the synthesis of halogen alkanes rather than natural reaction of alkanes. Okay, so if we take an example, if we take something like um, fluoromethane, they will normally start off with a halogenated alkane rather than just starting with a standard alkane like methane. And if we put fluorine with this, then that's going to form CH2, F2, and you will release a molecule of hydrogen fluoride. Now that is no different to what you've done already. The only difference is here is that they're going to want an initiation reaction, a propagation reaction, and a termination reaction based on this, which is a halogenated alkane rather than a standard alkane. So if we look at initiation, this will be the splitting of the fluorine-fluorine bond. So you will form two fluorine radicals. And a free radical is a species with an unpaired electron. So once you've actually formed that, then what can happen is you can get your propagation steps. And so your fluoromethane will react with a fluorine free radical and that will take off hydrogen, so you'll form hydrogen fluoride, and you will also form CH2F, but that will be a free radical. Now in the next step, this will react with a fluorine molecule and it will form difluoromethane and it will generate another fluorine free radical and then this can actually go back so propagation means to continue and that will continue until basically you've used up the reactants or a termination step takes place now with termination steps combining with another one to form a molecule of fluorine or you could get Fine. and you could also go so here you would go C2 H2 H4 F2 okay now you can see how this is different from say the standard OCR Excel ones. So here they've put in an extra layer and basically it's using a halogenated alkane rather than a standard alkane like methane. 